but I re- I, I had seen this one. It was an Oloroso cask, so I knew like a sherry cask whiskey. Sure. They're one of the ones that we enjoy. They are. So you probably can't go wrong with it. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the Deanston for, uh, Distillery. It's an old cotton mill, actually. They repurposed to uh, to a distillery. This was distilled in 2008. It's 12 year old whiskey. And uh, some fun facts about it. Color, and we should crack this open. So what color do you think color. it's gonna be? Well, it says amber, but like amber to me is quite a bit lighter. But if you look at a lot of the other sherry ones, they're, they're dark. They look like somebody dumped our juice box, there's right? There's there. There should be apple juice. Ah, well, maybe maybe even like a fruit punch. So this oh. is, it's dark, right? It is dark. It's dark. It's gonna be good. So I'll let so, you hold that. Do you want to hold it? Shake it up. Shake it, up. <laughs> Shake it like a Polaroid picture. So color is amber on the nose, and this is where it. I'm surprised. It says punchy. Punchy on the nose. Punchy. Punchy. Uh, raisins that have been singed on the outer crust of a fruitcake. Hints of sulfur. Tobacco and leather. But with time and water, so we, we can expect to have to use the uh, a little droplet here. With time and water, fruits come forward, such as plum, spiced apple, and perhaps even cocoa nibs. Now, in the mouth, it's bold. With a, a full whack of sherry, I'm not sure what that means. But we'll find out. Milk chocolate, like I just I can't even think of how we're gonna get there. Dried fruits and orange peel. Gradually, honey, dark caramel, and grassy notes poke their way through, but there's only glimpses of it amongst the dates and sultanas. Like there's just so much to unpack. It's always right? a lot. I, I want right. to meet the people who can get all that out of there. And and that's not even it. It says there's some nuttiness and a slightly oxidized metallic note too. But this is a whiskey that announces itself with the caps lock on before the water helps calm it down. So, yeah. So do we got to get into it without the water first? Well, I think you have to. All right. But just just to make sure I've done my research correctly, could you read what the ABV is off that bottle? 52. 52.7. 52.7. This is maybe the strongest whiskey we've ever had on the show. Like... This is the Sex Panther of Scotch whiskey. 